Framing infill configurations refer to the material that fills the volume of a framed wall. Studs, top plate, bottom plate, and very top plate. An infill configuration also determines the position and alignment of each component. The building location dialog box points to the default infill configuration, so when you draw it, it will use the particular framing infill per the location. As an example, for this video, we will create a new steel framing configuration. Select File, Catalogs, Library Manager. In the Library Manager, select Libraries, Framing Libraries, Wall Framing Infill. A list of various infill configurations will appear. Each specifies the members used in a wall, how many, and in what configuration. Right-click in the Wall Infill Library and select Add Wall Infill Configuration. In the Infill Configuration dialog box, change the name to Light Gauge Steel Walls with Channels. Select the Infills Properties folder in the Members list. Now change the stud spacing to 16 inches. Set the top and base extensions to 1 inch. To the left of the dialog box, select the bottom plate in the members list. In the parameters for the bottom plate, set the Use Member From setting to Member Library. You can now select a bottom track member from the catalog when the Catalog Access dialog box appears. Select the Steel Framing folder from the list. Right click in the Steel Framing list and select Add Element. In the Member dialog box, select the LIPC member type. Change the name to Track. Change the DY1 value to be large enough to house a 3 and 5 8 inch steel stud. I will change the value to 4 and 5 8 of an inch since each side has a half inch return. Select the Purchased Items tab. Delete out any existing purchase lengths listed. We will want a linear footage of track value and not broken down into individual member lengths. With no values listed here, it will default to the Quantity tab for reporting. Click on the Quantity tab. Ensure the unit of measurement is set to Linear Feet and then click OK. Click OK again to select the new track member as the bottom plate of the wall. The reference of bottom plate can also be replaced with track in the infill dialog box. Usage used for organizing the components in the material report can also be changed to reflect track. If track isn't in the list of available usages, you can right click and specify a new usage of track. Click on the stud member in the list. In the parameters to the right, ensure the use member from is set to wall properties. Every wall can hold a default framing member in its properties. By selecting wall properties here, it will allow each wall to have a unique member, whether it is a wood frame 2x4, 4x4 wood post, or a steel framing member as the stud. So many different walls with different member sizes can all be drawn and automatically use the correct member size. Select Blocking in the Members list, then click the New button. In the parameters for the blocking, set the Use Member From setting to Member Library. In the Catalog Access dialog box, again go to the Steel Framing folder and right click and select Add Element. Change the name to Channel. Change the type to Rectangular Cold Rolled C. Change the DY1 and DX1 value to 1.5 inches. Then select the Details tab. Set the Profile Rotation parameter to 270. Click OK. Click OK again to select the new channel as the member of the blocking. Click on Usage and set the usage to Channel. Note again, if you don't have the channel usage available in the list, you'll have to right-click in the list and add a usage. Set the phase to wall framing. Change the break at stud option to no. We also want the channels two feet apart and starting two feet from the bottom track. So we'll change the initial offset and spacing to both two feet. Select the top plate from the member list to the left. Set it to the same track values as we selected for the bottom plate, 
but change the rotation to 180 so it is in the correct orientation. Ensure there is no very top plate set. Click OK to accept the new infill configuration and OK again to exit the library manager. Now select Settings, Building Locations. Set the framing options for one of the locations. Double click on the infill configuration and set it to the new light gauge steel option and click OK. Click OK twice to exit the building locations dialog box. Now when we draw a wall, ensuring that you have selected a wall with steel framing members, it will frame as we specified. When we look at the wall in framing mode, you can see all the steel framing members.